22 year old Jeff Blackburn died a week ago after battling a fire. 24 Hour News 8's Elizabeth Choi was there as family and friends said a final goodbye. The cemetery now quiet behind me. A few mourners still at the grave site. The funeral wrapped up about three hours ago. And even though the loved ones are gone, the family, the friends, and fellow firefighters, Jeff Blackmer's memory is still very much alive. It's a cold December day as the funeral procession rolls in. Cold is also what's felt in the hearts of those mourning the loss of 42 year old Jeff Blackmer. They were led into the cemetery following Jeff's flag-covered casket. Jeff was a dedicated fireman who was dedicated to his family, the fire department, and the community as a whole who he, he protected on a daily basis. Protected. As a volunteer firefighter, Jeff had served on the Hamilton Township Fire Department for the past year, according to the department's chief, Tim Beatty. Before that, he was a firefighter in Wisconsin, acting as a teacher to his colleagues. His dedication and the time he spent uh, mentoring some of the younger firemen who, who had just joined the department and needed to get some training. Jeff had all that training from Wisconsin. A fellow firefighter discovered his body at the station last Wednesday. He'd battled a blaze earlier that morning. The coroner has not released a cause of death. However, his death is considered a line of duty death. After today, I, I hope um, we can honor Jeff and move forward and, and better ourselves and better our department in the, in the future to come. But before that, an opportunity to grieve and to celebrate. A man who paid the ultimate price to serve and protect his community leaving them with one last lesson. Live each day like it's your last because you don't know. Jeff Blackmer leaves behind a fiance, two children, and four stepchildren. His death marks a first for the Hamilton Township Volunteer Fire Department in its nearly 40-year history. In Muncie, Elizabeth Choi, 24-Hour News 8.